Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesperson. This is Rohit. I hope you are good and doing very well. Today, let's see how we can use this dynamic pick list value uh, in LWC component in Salesforce. So let's say we have some requirement where we need to display the map component in a lightning app page, record page, home page based on the country fields dynamically. The map component should contain a pick list field that needs to be exposed to the admin in the lightning app builder page so that he or she can configure the country name in it okay so actually this is the some scenario so based on this scenario we can implement so we can create a custom object that is called country and uh, which contain the old country names in it then we can create an abx class extend visual editor dot dynamic pick list and return the country value to the lwc data source property in the design component so we will see this in action and it is very helpful for visual editor dot dynamic pick list you can give your pick list to contacts on the page that component reside and uh, you can avoid the hard coding hard coded value of the pick list value in the component in the data source right so if you are new in this channel so you can subscribe the channel you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side okay so let's get started without any further delay so first of all let me open my vs code so here you can see my vs code let me create one Apex class first. So here, uh, you can give any name of this class. So right now I'm giving like custom, custom dynamic pick list. You can give any name as you want. Okay. So dynamic pick list. Okay. So here you can see my class is successfully created here. And now in this class, I want to do something regarding my code. So how to do that? So first of all, you have to do one thing. You have to extend uh, this class with uh, another class is there, like visual editor dot dynamic pick list. So you have to use that inheritance that is extends, extends, and uh, once you leave this extend, uh, we have to use like visual editor dot dynamic pick list value so you have to inherit this class for this class so please keep your mind this is the first step to inherit this class after that you can maintain you can maintain the code based on the our requirement so right now i'm exposing this class out of this org or out of the package so you have to make it this class as a global and after that you can create the method inside this you know class so how to use that uh, visual editor dot data row so here i will show you here very easy and very useful method here All right so we have to use like global first of all because global global class contain global method and override editor dot data row get default values so this is the method you can use this one and default value right now i'm giving like as a blank here you can give anything as you want let's say this dot dot oh okay you can give anything as you want here after that you can do another method that is global also and this global method i will show you here so this global method override the visual editor dot dynamic pick list rows so this is another method to getting the value so right now i'm creating the instance of this you know class after that you have to remove from here to here because i don't want to take this one and later on we will see how to use this you know my values in my code so after that you have to do one thing here once you created this instance using new keyword now you have to create the list of country object because country is the custom object in our o so let's say country and then countries select id name from country okay after that you can iterate this country's value and add into the you know that uh, list so how to add the list the, uh, we already initialize using this new keyword or you can directly use that is new visual editor dot uh, data row something like that so how to do that let me show you here so after that so you have to initialize let's say new and visual editor and country name dot country name something like that after that i have to give this one and it's written the my values here okay 
So this is a simple class. Let me deploy this class here. And let's see any error is happen or not in this class. So once you add this class in your O, now you have to check this class with LWC. So how to check this class inside the LWC? So first of all, you have to create the LWC component and let me create the LWC component. And LWC component is, let's say, custom dynamic pick list. Something like that. Okay, so here you can see uh, I have created the LWC component here. In this component, first of all, you have to expose one property that is country name. Because that is a very needful or useful to expose that name, right? So I need to use like API decorator. API is a public property, so we can expose it. After that, we have to use like API and then country name. That's all, right? So JS file is ready. Now we have to configure this JS file. So how to configure this JS file? Once you open it, open the HTML and these two files, right? And under here, we have to expose this component as true. So you have to change false to true. And after that, target, I want to use this component inside record page, app page and home page. And after that, this is a you know, config file. You can maintain this config. Let me remove this one because I need that config. And under here, name, I can change the, let's say name is my uh, custom property name. Is that is country name. Let me copy it, paste it here. Okay, that is a type of a string label. You can give any label as you want. Let's say enter country name here. Right, something like that. Description, you can give any description as you want. Let me remove it. And now this is the main part of this configuration that is data source. So you have to use data source. And my data source is coming from my Apex class. That is Apex colon then uh, forward slash, double forward slash, and then my Apex class name. So my class name is this, copy it, paste it here, and now our config file is ready. Let me save this config file. And once you save this config file, now you can use it anywhere as you want. Okay, so under the HTML, let me add the card first. So it's LWC card. Let me remove this one. Title, you can give any title, let's say dynamic pick list in LWC, something like that. After that, you can give any paragraph or any heading, let's say H1. Under this H1, let's say country name, then you can print your country name. So my country name here, let me copy this, paste it here. So you can bind this variable like that. So let me save this HTML as well. So once you save this HTML, now it's time to uh, deploy or you know uh, how to use this component inside the app page record base or home page so I already deployed this component let me open my own and let me open any record page of this you know uh, account record page or con contact record page so let me open the account first and once you open this account now you can open any record of this account so here let me add some you know uh, that component inside here and you will be get to know more about it right so here just let me do that one thing so in this space let me add that uh, LWC component so how to add the LWC component so under here let me do that here just come down this page click on this gear icon click on this edit page so once you added this page here you can see your component inside the custom tab. So you can see custom dynamic pick list. You can just drag and drop this one anywhere as you want. Let's say here. I want to use here. So just dragging. So now you can see this is a, an option. So you have to click on this option and definitely you can see all the country regarding my custom, you know, object values inside that object. Right. So you can select, let's say India. And once you select the India immediately, it's automatic updated here. And let me save this. And once you save this, now just go back. And let's see. This India is exist or not. Right. So here you can see 
country name is india here right so based on this country name you can maintain any map like based on the country we can display the map in particular area right so that is the good thing to remember so and also we we can avoid the hard coded values from the you know pick list and you can use this dynamic pick list inside the apex using lwc and that is very useful okay so guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is the very more informative for us so please like share comments you can subscribe the channel it's up to you it's not hardcore rule like you can subscribe it it's uh, based on your need or based on your requirement or you know based on your interest you can subscribe my youtube channel also you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never miss any notification or any updates from my side okay so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys